Hi, it's me, Vamp, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about something that I feel like everyone has been lying to you about. Not really lying per se, I'll explain what I mean. Today we are going to talk about why mastery rank or MR actually matters, okay? I mean, <clears throat> okay, so a lot of people, and that's a thing that goes around in Warframe, you know, MR doesn't matter, MR or Mastery Rank, um, the screen I showed you guys at the beginning, I showed you guys because, you know, it depends what rewards you get, scales with Mastery Rank, so I wanted to show you that. This is MR, as you can see, I'm MR29 right now, which is not the highest, but it is high enough that I do get some benefit from being MR29. I actually just did the test on this account not too long ago. There will be a card top right hand corner. Click the eye if you want to see my awesome performance on the test. But Thanks, MR mattered. Okay, so MR doesn't matter like you think it does. It doesn't matter in the sense that, oh, the higher MR they have, the more skill they have in the game. No, in theory, you could get to MR9, then stop. Because you have a favorite gun you want to use, or you can't pass the test, or whatever. But, it does matter. Okay, so right now we're going to go to the syndicate system. Okay, this is basically syndicate. So, you know, this is Ostron, this is, you know, Vent Kids, K Drive, um, Bexelaris. So, this is Fortuna, this is Cedis. This is the Necrolesque, you know, Heart of Deimos Syndicate and whatnot. And you see the Syndicate cap, right? The Syndicate cap, mine is about 30k right now. Um, that's because the Syndicate cap, it's supposed to be anywhere. One, um, you know plus 1k so my um mr is 29 so it's 29,000 plus 1,000 um that's supposed to be your syndicate cap i think they changed it recently so it even does the little numbers or whatever but roughly that would be your syndicate cap so if you're a new player and you're only mr2 guess what you're then the kit cap will be somewhere around 3,000, which you can't accomplish much for 3,000. You can't get the syndicate ranks up, so you can get rewards and stuff. Like, for example, let's go to Cedus, shall we? Okay, we're at Cedus. Let's go to, let's go to Hawk. He's the crafting dude. The crafting dune, you buy, you buy stuff you need, like blueprints and stuff, with reputation and whatnot. You even buy these arcanes with reputation. Now, I have a lot of reputation right now. Um, I had to climb the ranks because they're different ranks. Ken is like the top rank. Well... If I did, if I had a super low MR, but like MR7 or something, that means I'd only be able to get a max of 8k, give or take a few hundred, um, reputation per day. That per 24 hours, um, I'd only be able to get 8k rep for 24 hours. So it would take me so much to level up to get to that rank so any of that stuff right now i'm at position i can buy 
or whatever I want. But I definitely would not be in that position if I had a super low rank. And all of the open roads are like this. All of the syndicates are like this. And it's not just syndicates. It's not just the open road location. Because I bet you might be like, Vamp, what if I don't like the open roads? What if I don't like them? It doesn't really matter to me, does it? Yes, it does, or rather it should, and I will show you why. And here is why. The market. Yes, the market. The reason I'm going to the market, because it's the easiest way to show you guys. Like, let's go to this weapon, for example. This weapon, as you can see, mastery. That's 15 required. You require at least 15 mastery rank to build this weapon, to own this, to even buy this weapon from the market. The only exception would be if you buy it as part of a bundle. But individually, it would cost you, you know, 11 mastery here, 15 mastery. 13 mastery. You don't pay mastery, of course. Mastery, not currency. But it does check to make sure you have at least that much mastery. Warframes do not have that restriction, but their prime variants do. Believe it or not. So, MR is important. And why we're on the subject of MR, let's talk about relays real quick. Because, believe it or not, the different relays, yeah, the Void Trader relay, those are MR locked, per se. I believe once you hit MR9, you'll have this relay unlocked, which is the last relay that the Void Trader could go to. So that's why I made the comment earlier about you know being mr9 then stopping and i know what you're thinking bam how do i get mr well mr or master rank can be earned two ways one by completing all the nodes in the game and yes um the steel path also counts so you can complete all the nodes again on a harder difficulty for more Emma. And you also earn Emma by leveling up frames and weapons. Most weapons and frames go to 30. Some frames go to 40. Um, Necra um, companions also count towards Emma. Necromex and Arc Wings also count towards MR. So for better or worse, if you're missing MR and you don't know why, there's a good chance it could be because Arc Wing. To get a rough idea, however, you can always go to equipment. And when you go to equipment, it will show you all of it. So you know you'll see that. I'm missing one frame. Wait, I'm missing one frame. Hold on. We got to see what... Oh, Neja Prime. Wait, I thought I owned it, Neja Prime. Wait, did I just not level him? Is that... Oh, well. We'll find out in the future, I suppose. Um, stay tuned to this channel to figure out if I leveled up. Naja Prime or not. And then primaries, I'm missing a few. Secondaries, missing a few. Um, melees, missing one. You know, you get the point. It shows you what you're missing and what you're not missing and all that stuff. I never leveled up the Bone Widow. And K drives count towards MR2, unfortunately. Unfortunately, K drives count as well. Yeah, I I'm not a big fan of K drive personally, but that took me. 
Arc melee and amps. I still need this amp. Because amps count towards the marriage one. I should really buy this amp sometime. I think I should. Okay, well, I'm going to end the video here. Hopefully, this has been insightful to you guys why MR does matter, okay? Anyone who tried to tell you it doesn't matter, what they probably mean is it doesn't, it's not a valuation of how skilled you are, which it's not. MR does not equal skill, but MR does matter in this game quite a bit more than um, people like to admit. Heck, even doing something as simple as holding void traces depends on MR. The more MR you have, the more void traces you can hold. For better or worse, that's how it is. And yeah, with that said, I'm going to catch you guys in a future video. Hopefully you found this informative. And let me know in the comment section below. Do you think it's fair that MR matters as much as it does in the game? Were you under the impression it didn't matter at all? Now, the only people it truly doesn't matter for are people who have super high MR already. I just want really to put that out there. That, it doesn't matter. But in the grand scheme of things, if you're a new player, it matters. At least to nine higher if you want to complete new content, like right when it comes out because of syndicates. And with that said, I'm going to end the video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. And I will catch you guys in the future. Later.